What's going on guys? Jeremy here with Slime Quest TV coming at you with another tips video on Humminbird Side Imaging. Today I want to talk to you guys about when and where to use what kilohertz or megahertz, whether it be 455, 800 kilohertz, or your mega 1275 megahertz. And uh, I use my mega imaging when I'm in depths less than 10 foot. That gives me the best cleanest picture up in shallow water. As you can see right here, I'm in six foot. I got a pretty good image on both sides. It's kind of a sandy bottom here, maybe a possible fish right here. And I have the best view when I set my range out to about 45 foot on each side. As you can see a little pile of bait right here is the shadow behind it. When you're up, when you're up shallow, you wanna keep that on mega imaging. If the bottom starts to darken out, that soft bottom, and that's exactly when you want to switch over to 800 kilohertz. To switch over, all you have to do is hit this menu button twice, go to your sonar menu right here, scroll down to side imaging chirp display frequency. Switch that down to 800, you can see it's gonna brighten up the screen for when you're on that soft bottom so you can get a better return. Um, I don't use 800 kilohertz any time other than when I'm on a soft bottom or I get kind of a washout, the screen's a little too bright. But when you're on soft bottom, a mud bottom or silt bottom, that 800 kilohertz frequency is gonna give you a great display. Now, 455 is great. I use 455 a lot, kilohertz, when I'm out over open water in about 12 foot to 30, 40 foot of water and I can actually take this range and I can increase it out a lot farther distance on each side. I'm gonna actually put this back on mega. Just go down to your SI chirp display frequency, put that back to mega. Right here's the mega display. I'm gonna start working my way out over deeper water and I'm gonna set this range out a little bit farther and I'm gonna show you just how it doesn't pick up that far like you can on 455. Give it a little bit of throttle here, just bear with me. All right guys, I'm getting ready to come out off this break in the deeper water. I'm gonna switch my range and to do this, all you have to do is hit that menu button once, go scroll down to SI range. I'm gonna bring this out to about 80 foot. You can see now that everything past about 40 foot is black. Now, if I go back to the 455 kilohertz, I'm gonna be able to see a lot longer out there and a lot clearer. To do that, you just hit the menu button twice, go to your sonar, SI chirp display frequency, change that to 455. Now you can see, I can get all the way out to about 80 foot. I actually like to change this. I can go out to about 115 foot and see real, relatively well and that's what I do for when I'm looking for structure. If it's my first time on a lake and I'm looking for weeds or rocks or whatever, I can see a lot farther on the 455 kilohertz rather than the mega. Once you find that structure you wanna fish, whether it be rocks, weeds, wood, you can actually mark it. To mark these waypoints, if I marked a nice rock clump over here, all I do is hit my arrow over here, Wherever this, wherever this is, you just hit mark. That's gonna put a waypoint right here. It actually just marked this waypoint out to the left. And that's exactly how you can mark stuff with your 455 way out 100 foot, 110 foot out to the left and right, you can mark stuff. And you can see how clear you can see all the way out to 115 foot. I'm covering a 230 foot span and I'm, and I'm gonna be able to see a lot of stuff. If I switch this over to mega, you're gonna actually see what happens, hit the menu button twice. It's already got the screen blacked out on both sides. Mega is no good on these Gen 2 units for when you're out in deep water. You wanna keep your units on 455 kilohertz and, and, just, and then once you find that structure, you can go in to wherever that structure is, then put it on mega and see everything a little bit clearer and actually look for fish. But you'll see, 450, you'll see the difference, 455, 800 kilohertz.
big difference guys i hope this i hope this helps guys and uh if you haven't already please subscribe i'm doing a ton of these hummingbird videos i really appreciate i've got a lot of feedback from you guys you guys are liking these videos i appreciate it appreciate all the support please like and subscribe comment down below if you have questions about hummingbird products just shoot me a comment just comment down below I'll, I'll go over everything. If you guys have some questions, I'll make more videos on what you guys have questions about. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stick with us for the next one.